Well, another great way to get involved with outdoors is maybe having a furry friend and take them taking them out for walks. Well, one organization that can help you do that is Freedom Service Dogs. It's a great resource for those of you wanting to have a pup. Take a look. Erin, before we even get started here, because everybody at home is gushing, you have to tell us who you have with you today. <laughs> Aw, this is Boogie, and she's about 11 weeks old. She's a yellow Labrador, and she's in our training program to hopefully become a wonderful service dog. So she's, um, she's doing really well so far. She's nice and calm, at least right now. She's still a puppy, so of course she has a lot to learn, um, but she's just such a sweetheart and uh, she's happy to be here today. Oh my goodness, well, we are so happy to have her because she is just the cutest, oh my gosh. Well, tell people at home about Freedom. We need to know more about what you guys do. So Freedom Service Dogs is a Denver-based nonprofit and we transform lives by partnering people with custom trained service dogs. And we provide these service dogs completely free of charge. Uh, so we rely on the generosity of our wonderful community of supporters to um, donate and support our organization to make this possible. Can you walk us through what Boogie's training is gonna be like when she starts? Well, so even um, from the time she was born, really the training starts when they're a couple days old, just getting them used to uh, different sights and sounds and smells and, and really trying to socialize them to all of the, the things that are in this world so that they can get set up to be um, very you know, confident and comfortable service dogs when they're out in public. Um, but for you know, the first few months of training, she's working on basics like of course, potty training, crate training, um, very basic commands and things like that. And then of course, as she gets older, then she'll start moving on to the more advanced um, tasks that are very specific to whomever she will be eventually matched with um, if she does indeed grow up to be a successful service dog. You guys are looking for puppy raisers right now, right? Yes, so we are always in need of Puppy Raiser volunteers. It's just a great way to get involved and to really make a difference. Um, we provide all of the training, all of the, the treats and the food and the supplies that you need. And we also make sure that you are very supported and that you have um, the, the knowledge and the, the skills and expertise that you need in order to help your puppy become a successful service dog. So Erin, if people at home do want to learn more about potentially becoming a Puppy Raiser, what, what should they do next? They can visit our website at freedomservicedogs.org. They can give us a call at 303-922-6231. We have a great team of people that are ready to talk to you and get you signed up. Um, and like I said, we provide everything that you need so that you feel comfortable and confident um, and like you're in good hands so that you can help raise a wonderful little service dog. All right, well, Erin, thank you so much. Boogie, you did so well, good girl. Thank you guys. She did pretty good for being so young. She's a little squirmy, but she did pretty good. <laughs> yes, you did. Oh, well, this is a great resource for our veterans and folks in need. All right, here's more info. Help raise a future veteran service dog today. Head to freedomservicedogs.org to apply to be a puppy raiser.